When Kenichi Abina came to audition for AGT, he said he would do some dance-ish routine, and the judges looked a bit skeptical at his vague description. Later, the enigmatic performer took the world by storm with his Matrix-style dance that was just mesmerizing to watch. It's no shocker that his AGT acts became some of the most popular performances of the show. Following his thrilling journey and ultimate win, Kenichi had everything going for him. It was all good until he came back to defend his winner's title. But why exactly couldn't Kenichi win the show again? And what is he doing now? Let's dive deep to know what really happened to Kenichi Abina from America's Got Talent. Kenichi was born on the 25th of May 1974 in Tokyo, Japan. When he was just 20 years old, he embarked on an exciting journey, making his way to Connecticut to study abroad at the University of Bridgeport. It was there that he delved into his academic pursuits and eventually earned an Associate of Arts in General Studies in 1998. Not stopping there, he continued his educational journey at the same institution and proudly obtained a Bachelor of Arts in Mass Communications in 2000. Interestingly, dance wasn't something that Kenichi had explored during his childhood. It was during his university years that he developed a deep fascination for the art form. With no formal training, he relied on his natural talent and determination to learn. Starting with freestyle hip-hop, he began to explore different dance styles, including contemporary dance, jazz, mime, and lock-in. His passion and dedication drove him to expand his repertoire and push the boundaries of his abilities. As Kenichi's love for dance grew, so did his desire to create something unique. He gathered a team of talented Japanese dancers, and together they formed their own dance group called Bitrip. With their combined skills and artistic vision, they embarked on a creative journey. It's worth mentioning that in 2001, Kenichi's dance troupe Bitrip secured the first place spot at the Apollo Amateur Night, showcasing the breadth of his talent. However, Kenichi's accomplishments on the show did not end there. As a solo performer, Kenichi Abina came back again and won the competition not just once, but twice. In both 2006 and 2007, he captivated the audience with his performances and emerged as the grand champion, solidifying his status as a remarkable talent. To this day, only Kenichi holds the distinction of being the two-time grand champion in the history of the event. Kenichi Abina's audition on America's Got Talent is considered a pivotal moment in his career, propelling him to the forefront of the international dance scene. His audition, which took place during the eighth season of the show, left both the judges and audience in awe of his innovative and captivating performance. When Kenichi stepped onto the stage for his audition, he presented himself as a humble and unassuming performer. Dressed in casual attire, he gave a little indication of the spectacle that was about to unfold. As the music began, Kenichi seamlessly transitioned through a mesmerizing blend of dance styles, incorporating elements of robotics, illusion, and visual effects. What set Kenichi's audition apart was his ability to create a captivating narrative through his movements. He used precise choreography, meticulously syncing his dance with projected visual effects, giving the illusion of interacting with imaginary characters and objects. This seamless integration of dance and technology created a dynamic and visually stunning performance. As Kenichi moved across the stage, he effortlessly fused elements of martial arts, contemporary dance, and popping, showcasing his versatility and mastery of different styles. His movements were precise, fluid, and delivered with impeccable timing. Each gesture and step carried intention and emotion, drawing the audience into his unique artistic world. The judges and the audience were captivated by Kenichi's audition. The theater erupted with applause and cheers as he concluded his performance. The judges, including Howard Stern, Mel B, Heidi Klum, and Howie Mandel, were unanimous in their praise for Kenichi's extraordinary talent and groundbreaking performance. They recognized his ability to push the boundaries of dance and create an entirely new form of visual storytelling. Kenichi's audition not only earned him a standing ovation from the judges and the audience, but also secured his place in the competition's next round. Not to forget, it marked the beginning of a remarkable journey. Now, it's time to dive into Kenichi Abina's incredible journey on America's Got Talent during its eighth season in 2013. In the quarterfinals, which began on July the 23rd, Kenichi amazed the audience with an astonishing mime performance. He took on various roles, swimming, battling robots, encountering monsters, and stumbling upon a fire breather. What made it even more mind-blowing was the use of a video screen behind him, where he acted out all the characters himself. Among his fellow competitors were the Chinese-American dance troupe Mitzi Dancing School, the brother-sister duo Brandon and Savannah, singer Diana Della Chioppa, and impressionist Jim Meskimen. 
At the end of the round, Kenichi, opera singer Jonathan Allen and show choir American Military Spouses Choir advanced to the next round. Moving on to the semi-finals in September, Kenichi continued to captivate the audience with his mime performance. Using projections, he staged a battle against himself, which garnered him a significant number of votes. This secured his spot in the top 12 alongside the acrobatic group Chicago Boys, singer Brandon James, comedic hand-balancing duo Chris F. Brothers, and country singer Jimmy Rose. The next, which took place on September the 10th, featured guest performances by Olate Dogs and Terry Fater. Kenichi competed against 11 other contestants and performed 10th. His interpretive dance routine explored themes of death, love, and the afterlife. After all the performances, only six contestants, including Kenichi, Taylor Williamson, Collins Key, Cami Bradley, and Jimmy Rose remained. The highly anticipated finale arrived, and each of the six finalists performed two acts. The first was an updated version of a previous performance, and for his second act, Kenichi delivered a jaw-dropping martial arts dance inspired by The Matrix. He then amazed the audience by dancing and interacting with himself as eight different characters displayed on a projected video screen behind him. Guest performers Heather Headley and the classical crossover vocal group Il Devo joined him on stage. Following Kenichi's breakthrough dance routines on September the 17th, it was revealed that he had emerged as the winner of the eighth season of America's Got Talent. Not only was he the first winner of Japanese origin, but he also made history as the first dance act to claim victory in the entire reality competition. As the deserving winner, Kenichi was awarded a cash prize of $1 million for his extraordinary talent and exceptional performances throughout the season. After his resounding victory on America's Got Talent, Kenichi continued to make waves in the entertainment world. In the following year, he received an invitation to the quarterfinals of the show's ninth season. For this performance, he decided to showcase a similar routine to his audition dance routine, once again captivating the audience with his unique style and creativity. Interestingly, this routine also served as a demonstration of an app he was developing called Dancish Me, which was eventually released in 2014. In addition to his continued success on the show, 2014 proved to be a significant year for him in other aspects of his career as well. The dancer released his first book titled Winning the World with Just One Way to Show in Japanese. The literary endeavor provided fans with an opportunity to gain deeper insights into Kenichi's journey and artistic approach. Moreover, he made a memorable return to television with an appearance on the Japanese documentary show called Janetsu Tariku. This marked his first television appearance since his win on America's Got Talent and offered viewers a glimpse into his life, inspirations, and continued pursuit of excellence in the world of dance. Kenichi made a comeback to television in 2019, appearing in the first season of America's Got Talent The Champions. The spin-off of the original show featured participants from various editions of the Got Talent franchise, including finalists, winners, and other standout performers. Kenichi delivered a highly technical performance during his appearance, but unfortunately, he didn't receive enough votes to advance to the finals. Judge Mel B openly told him that he set the bar too high during his previous season. She also remarked that the production value was too much. He ultimately finished in fourth place, showcasing his immense talent among a pool of exceptional artists. In 2021, Kenichi founded an amazing group called Unicycle Flow for AGT Season 16. This group brought together champion unicyclists with the goal of showcasing the artistry and creativity of unicycling as a performance. And let me tell you, fans of the show were absolutely blown away by this fresh and innovative act. It was something completely new and exciting for America's Got Talent. They had a good run, but could only go till the semi-finals. It seems that Kenichi has a passion to show entertaining acts on the world's biggest stage. Right from 2013, he's been giving various memorable performances on the AGT stage. Fans who know Kenichi's determination and spirit are eagerly awaiting for him to come again with a unique concept that will completely shock everyone.